to the deadly crash, the car on autopilot using advanced technology. A big feature of the Tesla vehicle in question is that it allows drivers to let go of the wheel. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez on what the company says went wrong. Tonight, Tesla confirming this car was in autopilot mode when it crashed in Northern California, killing the driver. Walter Wong was behind the wheel of the nearly $80,000 car, heading into work at Apple just before 9.30 a.m. March 23rd. Tesla saying the Model X sent Wong several warnings to put his hands on the wheel earlier in the drive, but his hands were not detected on the wheel for six seconds prior to the collision. The car slamming into this barrier. Wong's brother telling ABC station KGO the 38-year-old engineer had complained seven to ten times the car would swivel toward that same exact barrier during autopilot. Walter took it into a dealership addressing the issue, but they couldn't duplicate it there. That information has been received by the CHP. They've been acting on it for some time now. Tesla saying its drivers make more than 200 successful autopilot trips per day on this exact stretch of road going on to blame that highway barrier that's meant to reduce impact. Tesla says this is what it's supposed to look like, but this is what it looked like the day before Wong's deadly crash because of a previous accident. Loved ones saying it should have saved the father of two's life. He just did like everything awesome that you should do as a dad, he did. And the NTSB is investigating this crash, saying getting answers could take up to six months. Tom? Marcy Gonzalez for us tonight. Marcy, thank you.